For centuries, humanity has looked to the sky for answers building theories, writing equations, and imagining our position within a vast cosmic puzzle. But all of that our cosmology, our physics, and our understanding of space and time has just been shaken to its core because of the James Webb Space Telescope. What it has just seen wasn't supposed to exist, galaxies to old, planets too big, structures to perfect, and a steady signal rhythmic and unnatural that doesn't fit into any known astrophysical model. This isn't just another discovery. This is a conflict between our beliefs and reality itself. The James Webb Telescope may have just delivered the most important warning and opportunity in human history. If it truly exists, then everything we believe to be true about the universe is incorrect. Music. In a series of deep field observations, the James Webb Space Telescope captured some of the most detailed images of the universe to date. But beauty wasn't the only thing hidden in those pictures. In the cluster of galaxies AL2744, researchers discovered light point symmetrical structures forming patterns that don't belong in the chaotic universe of galaxy development. In NGC 1365, an unusual spiral galaxy, motion patterns and gravitational behavior contradicted our most basic models. But it didn't stop there. Similar occurrences began appearing across multiple images. The farther Webb looked, the stranger the universe became, patterns repeating across billions of light years, structures showing geometry in a universe that was supposed to be random. Scientists tried to call it coincidence, but there were too many to frequent, too flawless. And slowly, the whispers started. Maybe we're not seeing randomness at all, but rather a form of order that we simply do not comprehend yet. Music. Among the many targets of the James Webb Telescope was an exoplanet named HIP 654-6b, located hundreds of light years away. And what it revealed left astronomers speechless. This planet is seven times the mass of Jupiter, orbits its star at three times the distance of Neptune, and revolves around a star only 15 million years old. Based on all existing hypotheses of planetary formation, this planet ought not to exist. There is no visible protoplanetary disk, no residual material, no gravitational cause explaining how such a huge world could form so far out so quickly and remain stable. Some scientists have begun to consider the possibility that this planet is not truly part of its current system. What if it's a remnant of a previous cycle of relic from a star system that came before somehow transplanted, reused, or strategically placed? For now, there are no answers merely a planet glimmering at over 1,000 degrees, suspended in a system that lacked the capacity to create it. In one of the most surreal discoveries, Webb captured a gravitational lens, an Einstein ring caused by a massive galaxy bending the light of one directly behind it. But this ring surrounding galaxy J418 is not just any lens. It is almost perfect, a complete, unbroken circle of light resembling mathematical symmetry that left even the most knowledgeable astrophysicists stunned. For such an image to exist, the alignment between the two galaxies must be exact down to a degree or to across thousands of light years. That's not just rare. That's statistically improbable on a cosmic scale. And even though gravitational lensing is a known phenomenon, the level of perfection here raises more questions than answers. Could this be a hint of some deeper symmetry embedded into space itself? A warning that the universe isn't as chaotic as we assumed, but instead governed by geometry we have only begun to comprehend. Music. However, no discovery has shaken the scientific world like this. Webb has found massive, mature galaxies that formed only 180 million years after the alleged Big Bang. That might sound far off, but in cosmic terms, it's impossible. According to current models, galaxies shouldn't have had enough time to grow to such sizes, organize into spiral structures, or produce the brightness Webb observed. These galaxies appear as large as the Milky Way fully formed when the universe should still have been a chaotic sea of gas. This has thrown cosmologists into disarray. 
Because if these galaxies are truly as old as the data suggests, then our entire theory of how the universe began is breaking down. The Big Bang long considered the foundation of modern cosmology may no longer be applicable. Now, some researchers believe we may be looking at a universe with a history that began long before we did. Music. Far from any major galaxy, Webb identified something unexpected, a gravitational lensing effect in a patch of space where nothing visible exists. No galaxies, no stars, no dark matter yet light from distant galaxies bent, curved, and distorted as if something massive was hiding there. Astronomers tentatively attributed this to dark matter, a form of mass we can't see but which exerts gravity. But the exactness and intensity of this distortion created a problem. It was too strong to localize. It didn't behave like a diffuse cloud of dark matter. Instead, it behaved like an object a structure with defined symmetry, mass, and edges. Could it be a concentrated cluster of dark matter shaped into a form we do not yet comprehend? Or is it something else entirely? A gravitational echo. The remaining of something previous, something gone behind. Now, some physicists are remaining quiet, circulating far more radical ideas. That this is not at all dark matter, but evidence of a structure, something invisible, ancient, and still warping space amid its stillness. Music. Among the telescope's most controversial findings is the discovery of a huge filament between galaxies, a stretch of galaxies and matter aligned so precisely that it creates a structure larger than a billion light years long. Scientists have seen prior filaments, a component of the so-called cosmic web. However, this one is unique. Its repeating density and alignment voids make it resemble a grid, almost like a structure laid across the universe. Whereas conventional cosmology asserts that these patterns constitute the result of gravity's pull, the symmetry in this instance is hard to ignore. The galaxies are aligned in parallel paths with clumps of dark matter at specific intervals. Even the redshift readings demonstrate irregularity, like a wave, as if the fabric of the universe in this region was deliberately engineered. Some researchers insist our brains are simply programmed to look for patterns, even when there are none. But others now suggest that if the universe possessed a builder or intelligence, this would be where we'd begin to see the fingerprints. Music in chasing answers to gravitational anomalies, one proposal has risen from the fringes into serious discussion that dark matter, long regarded as invisible and inert, may in fact carry information. Data not as we know it, but something deeper, a cosmic memory. In numerous web observations, groups of galaxies formed in configurations that seem to reflect earlier, distant formations, almost like echoes repeating across space and time. What if dark matter, instead of being arbitrary, actually preserves traces of past cosmic structures? What if, as the universe expands, this hidden matter holds on to imprints left by gravity, shaping future galaxies based on previous alignments? It's a concept that blurs the line between philosophy and physics, implying that the universe might not only have a beginning, but also a memory. And if that's the case, then each spiral, every cluster, every void might be part of a design far older than we imagined. Music. But possibly the most chilling discovery, the one few are willing to speak about, came during a deep field scan. The James Webb Telescope, in a void sector, recorded a series of pulses, light fluctuations to regular to be random, to faint to come from any known star. The signals didn't match the frequency of either quasars or pulsars. Then, at precisely regular intervals, they vanished completely. At first, scientists thought it was a mistake, interference, reflection, perhaps even a processing error. But after running the data through independent systems, the pattern was still present. The origin point showed no nebula, no stellar mass, no heat signature, merely a continuous flash, precisely timed, as if measured. NASA has declined to comment publicly. But behind closed doors, researchers are asking a question that may reverberate for decades. What if it were a message, not intended for reception, but simply noticed? And if so, who or what was meant to see it? 
The James Webb Space Telescope was built to expose the past, to peel back the layers of time and show us what the universe looked like billions of years ago. But in doing so, it may have revealed something even deeper that we are not just observers of the cosmos but part of a much older design constructed with precision and care beyond our imagination. Galaxies that ought not to exist. Planets defying gravity. Signals and structures that mirror intelligence. This isn't random noise. This isn't just science fiction. These are measurable, undeniable points that test the very foundation of our understanding. And if the patterns are real, if the pulses are deliberate, if the universe remembers, then we must face the most frightening possibility of all. We have never been alone. Not in time, not in space, not even in thought. Because what James Webb may have uncovered is more than just an early map of the universe. It may be a message left behind or a system waiting for us to notice. And with that, the stars may never be seen the same way again. So now we ask, are these discoveries evidence of something else? Or are we simply projecting our own desire to find meaning in the void? Tell us what you think in the comments below. And if you want to keep exploring the universe's puzzles, mysteries that the entire world is only just beginning to notice, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Because the next James Webb image may not show us where we came from, but where we are supposed to go. We'll see you on the other side of the cloak.